Hey there, Jamie with Midnight Joe. Today I'm gonna to turn this spoon into a ring. Uh, my buddy from RL Coin Rings mailed this to me to turn into a ring for him. One thing about this spoon is it has enamel here, which um, if you bend it, it will just break. So I'm gonna start by cutting that off. I've got both ends cut now. I'm going to clean up this end and round it off. And this end I'm gonna miter so that when I close the ring, it's nice and flush and comfortable to wear. Now I'm gonna clean up the ends on my Fordham unitized sanding wheel. This is great for doing your fine sanding really fast. I also like to polish it for a finer cleanup. And now for the fun part, I'm going to anneal this. Um, this piece is sterling silver. So I'm gonna mark it with black marker so that I don't overheat this piece. And you'll see what the marker does in just a second. So as I'm annealing this, I'm gonna slowly pull it away and keep an eye on that black sharpie. And when it starts to disappear, the piece is properly annealed. Annealing softens the metal so that it doesn't break when I bend it. That's ready. I quench it with regular water. Now on to bending. To bend my spoon rings, I use a one ton arbor press and these attachments are from Flat Wearable. One little trick I learned when working with slightly thicker pieces and the Flat Wearable press is to use the bracelet bender first to make a broad bend. This just helps prevent sharp bends on the ring. And boom, I'm going to anneal this again. And now I'm gonna can candy cane the ends. This is a phrase coined by the flat wearable artisan jewelry, jewelry makers. And then I'm gonna slowly close the bend. Okay, I'm liking the shape here. We're going for a little bit smaller of a size. So I'm going to flip this to the smaller side and close her up a little bit more. And we are at a size 8, which is what we are going for. It looks really nice and around, so I'm not going to have to hammer this. I'm going to do a little more shaping. got the ring all shaped and ready for finish work with silver when you anneal it it discolors to this orangey color so to fix that I'm gonna put her in the pickle pot for 10 to 15 minutes and that will remove that discoloration now that that's sat for about 10 minutes I'm gonna neutralize it the pickle is very acidic so I use water and baking soda to neutralize that um, and then I just rinse it with regular water and let it dry. And now I'm going to polish the inside. And polish the outside. And the last 
last thing I'm going to do is polish this with a jewelry polishing cloth. And here she is all finished up. Making jewelry from customers flatware is a service that I offer. If you inherited some flatware or came across some cool flatware you want turned into jewelry, uh, shoot me an email at contact at midnight show to get the process started. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.